Math and Minecraft. Sugarcane. Naturally generated sugarcane has an 11 18th probability to be 2 blocks tall, a 5 18th probability to be 3 blocks tall, and a 1 9th probability to be 4 blocks tall. What is the expected height of naturally generated sugarcane? This is pretty simple expected value. If we want to find the expected value, we have to multiply all the possible values by its probability of occurring. For 2 tall sugarcane, we need 11 18ths times 2, or 22 18ths. For 3 blocks tall, 5 18ths times 3, or 15 18ths. And for 4, 2 18ths times 4 is 8 18ths. Those sum to 45 18ths, or 5 halves, and that is our answer. Shulker boxes. Steve has 4 indistinguishable shulker boxes. Those shulker boxes contain 5 diamonds, 8 diamonds, 12 diamonds, and 13 diamonds respectively. Steve lets Alex choose one or more of the shulker boxes. If the sum of the amount of diamonds in the chosen boxes is a multiple of 3, then she gets to keep the diamonds. What is the probability that Alex gets to keep the diamonds? Let's break this problem down to cases, or just casework. We'll do cases by the number of boxes Alex chooses and the probability of each case occurring is 1 fourth. For case 1, Alex chooses just one box. If Alex chooses one box, then the number of diamonds in that box has to be a multiple of 3. So she has to choose the box with 12 diamonds inside, which is happens with a 1 fourth probability. Case 2, Alex chooses two boxes. We know that 5 and 8 are 2 mod 3, 12 is congruent to 0 mod 3, and 13 is congruent to 1 mod 3. 2 mod 3 is just a mathematical way of saying that 5 leaves remainder of 2 when divided by 3. The number of diamonds in the 2 boxes must sum to a number divisible by 3. This can only happen with 5 13 and 8 13, which sum up to 18 and 21. So there are 4 choose 2 combinations total, so the probability for this case is 2 over 6 or 1 third. Case 3. Alex chooses 3 of the boxes. There are only 4 choose 3 or 4 combinations of 3 boxes he can choose, so let's just list them out. We have 5 plus 8 plus 12, which is 25. That's not a multiple of 3. 5 plus 8 plus 13 is 26, which also isn't a multiple of 3. And 5 plus 12 plus 13 is 30, which is a multiple of 3. 8 plus 12 plus 13 is 33, which is also a multiple of 3. So, 2 of the combinations out of our 4 work, so our probability for case 3 is 1 half. Our final case is where Alex chooses all four boxes. This can only happen one way, where Alex chooses one box. The number of diamonds in all the boxes combined is 38, which is not a multiple of 3. So the probability that case 4 is valid is 0. So now we need to add all our probabilities from each of the cases to find the total probability. That yields 13 twelfths, but then we have to multiply by 1 over 4 because that's the probability of each case occurring. So our final probability is 13 over 48, and that is our answer. We are done. Iron Farms. Alex and Steve both have iron farms. Alex's farm takes 4 minutes to produce a stack of iron, and Steve's takes 6 minutes to produce a stack of iron. Assuming they both start with 0 iron ingots, how long will it take them to collect a total of 120 stacks of iron? Well, every minute Alex's farm produces one-fourth of a stack, and every minute Steve's farm produces one-sixth of a stack. So together, they form one-fourth plus one-sixth equals five-twelfths of a stack. So it takes 12 over 5 minutes to produce one stack of iron when they work together. So therefore, to produce 120 stacks of iron, it will take 120 times 12 fifths or 288 minutes. And that is our answer. Another way to approach this problem is with harmonic mean. The average speed of the two farms is 24 over 5 minutes per iron ingot. But two farms are working together, so they produce iron at twice the average speed, which yields 12 over 5 minutes per iron ingot. So our answer is again 120 times 12 fifths, or 288. Last question. Books. A book is crafted with one piece of leather and three pieces of paper in the 3x3 crafting grid shown in the bottom right corner. The crafting ingredients can be placed in any of the nine squares and it will still make a book. How many ways are there to craft a book? 
Well, there are nine times eight times seven ways to place the pieces of paper in the grid, and then there are six remaining squares to place the leather. But there are three factorial ways to switch around the pieces of paper because they're indistinguishable. So the sixes cancel out in the numerator and denominator, so our answer is just nine times eight times seven, or 504. Another way to think of this is that you have nine ways to place the leather, and then eight choose three ways to place the papers. Eight choose three is 56, so the answer is 56 times nine, equals 504 again. So, thank you for watching. I hope you learned something. Play more Minecraft. If you have any questions, ask in the comments, and goodbye.